Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Let's get this big boy chopped and then let's get this big boy lit. Because today we're off to Talar. So if your name is Sir Stephen, you should be getting very, very excited indeed. Right, come on, let's get on with it. Let's get going. And you may have noticed that, uh, well, that sky, it's looking rather blue. I promise you in a moment or two, you're gonna get a get a view of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Guess what? That's looking very, very blue as well. Mr. Paul, you probably guessed it by now. He's dressed head to toe in blue. So that must mean one thing, all that's missing is you. So come on, get yourself on a big bird or a canoe or perhaps a kayak and start paddling like crazy. Pat for Cyprus, Marika and me, oh yeah. We're waiting, especially for you. We're also waiting for the boys from the black stuff to come up and do this road, because I tell you what, it's certainly got some potholes and some inulations in it, and uh, not the most pleasant of roads in the world. But anyway, here we go. As promised, there is a view to die for coming up, and it really, really is, especially for you. And the temperature today, you know, the EU is warning us that uh, we're on a yellow, what they call it now, yellow weather warning, which means it's going to be very, very hot indeed, somewhere around about 37, 38 degrees, so they're telling us. What does it say on the car at the moment? Oh my goodness, yes, it says 38 degrees, and this car's been parked in the shade for the last couple of hours, so pretty warm in downtown Paphos. So if you're looking for a spectacality of a place for a holiday, perhaps for a weekend, it's not that far, you know. Perhaps a week, perhaps a fortnight, or perhaps even the rest of your life. You know what you do. Get on that internet, start looking like crazy. So we're dropping down through Konya. This is the main road from Armu, from Enoscopi, and from the Memphis Hills Resort on the top of the Tassada Hills there. And so we're gonna get a little bit further and we're gonna take a right go past the General Hospital of Paphos and then we're going to take another right and go up probably the worst road in the world, certainly in Paphos anyway, and work our way up through Anavargos up towards Masoi and then we're going to take a left into Trevathusa and then eventually we're going to get to Tala up in the hillside above Paphos. So don't click off just yet. And of course if you do like what you see, hit that like smash that subscribe button and of course keep on coming back for that little bit more of my complete and utter madness as I take you on my travels in and around Paphos. And of course if there's somewhere that you'd like me to go, drop it in the comments and you never know, that video may be, may be coming very, very soon indeed. A gentleman in the comments has asked, can you go and do the Coral Bay Strip? Well, that video's been done, yeah. It has indeed, and of course, there's another gentleman new on the block, Mr. Jamie. He's coming to Paphos with a friend or two, and he says he's enjoying the drives around. So hopefully, we're going to hunt you down and bump into you somewhere in and around downtown Cape Paphos. And of course, if you are looking for us, you're going to find us more often than not on an evening. We don't like to come out that much in the day now because, well, it's too hot. So we linger in air conditioned offices and bedrooms and then we come out at night. So you're going to find us in the Pelican restaurant from around about 8 o'clock on a night and you may find us that little bit earlier strutting our stuff up and down the downtown Cato Paphos promenade and harbour area. And of course if you want to get on camera, well, come over and say the big, big hello. We don't bite well now and again. Arr. Anyway, big boy is lit. That's a Romeo and Juliet. That's a cigar. And of course, quite a nice thing to do as you're driving around in an air-conditioned car, working your way up towards Tala. Traffic, well, moderate, shall we say. It's that funny time of day, and it's called lunchtime. And of course, everyone in Paphos, in particular, doesn't like to do a lot, apart from go home and have their lunch. After lunch, well, it's a gamble. Will that shop be open that you want to go and see? Will that business be back open? Probably not, because the people want to do what you want to do. They want to sit by a pool, or they want to chill out by the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. 
So, if you do like it, don't forget to hit that like, click that subscribe, and please don't forget to go to Hunters Down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. It's so be safe, it's totally secure. And that's, of course, how you can gift just that virtual coffee or two, and that's how you keep the flat, the flannel? No, the flannel's what you use to wash your face and other bits and bobs, but you can keep the channel afloat, yeah. Google these magic words, Marika and me, buy me a coffee, buy me a coffee, Marika and me, up will come our landing page, and of course you will have the chance and the opportunity to read a little bit more about us, and of course, a comment or two, and often people like to do that, don't they, to see if there's like-minded people around in the world, and guess what, there's quite a few of you that come back to watch the little channel known as Marika and me. You can also help us out via the Super Thanks on YouTube itself, that's where you go to write a comment, there's a heart-shaped little symbol with a dollar sign in the middle on the right hand side and of course you can hit that and gift us as little as one ninety nine. and we do thank you from the bottom of our two hearts we really really do so here we go let's get going up the worst road in Paphos rumour has it they're going to be digging it up soon and uh, hopefully laying a nice smooth coat off the black stuff because this is well, one of my favourite roads. Well, it's not my favourite road, but it's a road that takes me to where I want to go. I go up to the Atlas Coffee Shop, I go up to Tramathusa, Tala, all those kind of places pretty much twice a day. So I have to drive up and down this road, which means there's inulations and they cause the camera to bounce around. But it's not so much that, it's destroying the suspension. Now, I don't mind when someone else's suspension gets destroyed and I get to have a rubbish in their pocket. But I don't like it when mine gets destroyed and then I have to rummage in my own pocket. Not good, is it? See, you understand? There is a logic in me somewhere. I'm not actually an idiot in a blue hat with a pair of sunglasses. Well, I probably am, actually. Anyway, let's check out this cigar. Baron Von cigar, do you fancy a Churchill? Do you know what that means? He knows what it means. You go Google it, and you'll find out what Mr. Paul is smoking at the moment. Famous by a man called Churchill, yeah. His first name was Winston. He did like to smoke on a big, big cigar. He went over, and after that, they named the cigar after him. So I'm smoking a Churchill Romeo and Juliet as we drive up towards Tala. So don't click off just yet. Now, what's new on the channel? What's coming? Well, I'll tell you what's coming. The Marie Karimi website, it's coming. I'm at the end of the meeting a little bit later with the gentleman that's constructing the site. And uh, there's big plans, there really is. Lots of information coming your way. Information about Marika and of course myself. Information about Paphos and more importantly, a discounting page. So a page where you can go and get gifts and discounts in and around some of the bars and restaurants and some of the other businesses in and around downtown Kent Paphos, in particular in the promenade and the harbour area. And hopefully, fingers crossed, that list of uh, people who want to look after you, shall we say, will grow and grow, because that's normally how it works, isn't it? Now, there's an unusual car, isn't it? You don't see many of them in Cyprus. Estate cars are not very popular, but uh, very practical, I suppose, but uh, hmm, not the best of looking for, I don't think. I prefer a nice big saloon car. I'm not really into four-wheel drives. I understand there's a need for them, and I understand they carry a lot of people, to Ikea and you can chuck your cat in the back and your dog, but uh, I prefer a big saloon car. And my big saloon car will be coming back very, very soon and hopefully I'll be able to drive around in luxury and smoke my cigar. Yes, Baron Jeremy, Baron Simon. And as for your idea about you getting in the back and me paying you to check the suspension, no, you've got confused. You get in the back and you pay me. It's much more logical. But only 39 euros, that's all I'm going to charge you each, of course. And your juppers go for free. So, here we go. We're working our way out of Anabargos, heading up towards Masoy. We're going to come to a little roundabout at the top for a reference point. Trimark Motors is there, so that's a used car dealer. They also dibble and dabble in trying to sell Citroëns and Peugeots and Opels. Uh, what can you say? There's not much call for those in downtown Patwas. Not that there's anything wrong with them. But uh, the Cypriots do like to have Mercedes, they do like to have BMWs, and they do like to have reliable cars like Toyotas. So, yeah, there's a guy that comes back to the show now and again from downtown Yorkshire. He may be in Paphos as we speak, but I've not bumped into him. So, 
He's a very, very clever man indeed. He's got two Toyotas, one in the UK and one in downtown Athos. Of course, his name is Sir Brian. Big, big shout out to you, Sir Brian. So, here we are. This is that roundabout. We're going to go right round it. And we're going to head into Masoy. Then we're going to take a left through Lower Tremethusa and work our way up towards Tala. And it really is a spectacality of a day indeed. So, big shout out to some of the guys that come back to the little channel now and again. If you're in downtown Liverpool and you're a sir and there's a girl in your life who is a lady, well, Sir Kevin, Lady Cathy, big, big shout out to you. You'll be coming to Pathos soon, booking into the Mayfair Hotel, and hopefully you will do us the honour of coming and finding us at the Pelican Restaurant in the centre of the Cato Pathos Harbour. And of course, as I've said, if anyone's looking for us, that's where you're going to find us. Or you'll find an idiot in a blue hat with a pair of sunglasses going up and down the Cato Pathos Promenade and Harbour area. And it's easy to spot me because next to me is a blonde beauty who is the most beautiful woman in the world. And of course her name is Miss Archie Gracidi Leboeuf. If you're wondering where she is, perhaps if you've missed an episode or two, she is in downtown Tbilisi, Georgia. And the weather apparently is gorgeous. They had a bit of a storm the other night, but now the temperatures are pretty much 25, 26. And the humidity is very low in Georgia, so not a bad place to go. You never know, we may relocate and uh, invent a promenade somewhere and walk up and down it, especially for you. So, here we are. This is the top of the Polish Road. We're going to go left. If you go right, you go into Mesa Mahoy. I think that's how you say it. Masoy, anyway. Two kilometres, so it says on that side, just over there on the right-hand side. We're going left. This is the Tremethusa Junction, Tanner Junction, as we call it. And we're going to wiggle and we are going to waggle through Tremethusa and up to Tala. When we get to Tala, you're going to get a spectacality of a view indeed, because of course we are up on top of a mountain. And you'll be able to feast your eyes and digest upon the beauty and the spectacality of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. I'm going to say thanks for watching. And of course, we're going to leave the camera to roll as we wiggle and we waggle up this hill. And you are going to get a view to die for, that's for sure. And like I say, if there is somewhere that you'd like me to go in and around Pathos, you drop in the comments and, uh, well, you never know. That video could be coming very, very soon indeed for you. Back to the website, there's going to be a few options on there for you guys to commission special videos. Perhaps if you'd like to have a birthday shout out, anniversary shout out. Whatever you may want, you might want me to call your cat in, by the way, as a bit of a lark. All you have to do is contribute 10 euros to the channel, and of course that will be coming especially for you. If you want a special video made for you, uh, here's an idea, for example. Perhaps you came on holiday to Pathos, perhaps you got married, perhaps it was an anniversary, perhaps it was a birthday. And perhaps you want to remember it and encapsulate it on video with Marika and me for the rest of time. So let's just say you went to Polis and you sat on the Ogaka beach. <laughs> then let's just say you went to the Lachi Harbour and perhaps got on a little boat and had a great day out. And then let's say you capped it off with a meal at Porto Lachi in Lachi. Well, we can go visit those three locations. We can mash them all together. And of course, we can tell you what a spectacality of a day you must have had. And of course, you can watch it over and over again. And all it's going to cost is 29 euros. Not a lot of money, that's for sure. And of course, you're keeping the little channel known as Marika and me and Floats. Of course, there's going to be the buy a brick option. Lots of people know that. The Marika and me lounge bar will be coming, hopefully, fingers crossed, next summer. And you'll be able to come in there and hang out with like minded people. You can come in there if you don't like the like minded people. You can come in there even if you don't support Marika and me and buy yourself a nice ice cold Kia perhaps a cocktail for that special, special person in your life. But of course, you can help to fund it. And when you fund it, you're going to get your name on a wall. So anyone who comes in there is going to know, yeah, Sir Daniel, yeah, he was a man that helped to fund this bar. And of course, when you ever come in, you're going to get extra, extra special treatment. So 
there'll be buy a brick option on the website. You obviously get discounts as you buy more and more. For example, if you want to buy one for that partner in your life, perhaps you've got a daughter, perhaps you've got a son, perhaps you've got two, perhaps you've got three, you'll get discounts galore, that is for sure. There'll also be the Buy Me A Brick Fund, the Marika Ridley Mansion. Yeah, it's a house it's going to be, but of course you'll be able to then have your name on a wall so that we and everyone else will know that you helped to fund that experience. And talking about experience, you will be able to come and have a holiday with Marika and me in the Marika and me mansion and of course the prices will be very very reasonable but whatever you've contributed in other words those bricks that you may have bought on the wall that will be knocked off the cost of that holiday and talking about holidays many people know we're going to start a competition where anybody can win a holiday you've got a much much higher chance obviously if you come back and watch Marika and me because then you'll know if you've won or not the plan is to give one away sometime in the next two to three months subject to ticket sales there'll only be 250 tickets by the way and each ticket will only be 39 euros one of those tickets we are going to keep and we're going to drop that in the pot with someone's name on it some random person's name who will pick out the comments so that person will win a holiday possibly for absolutely nothing hopefully if it comes on form and works as we hope in the future we'll be giving away a holiday every single month so as they say you've got to be in it to win it so when it comes online don't forget to get your ticket here you go here's some guys either moving house or going to their holiday accommodation that was a bit of a pot oh, wasn't it anyway he's the boss there's no doubt about that and here comes some of his barrows coming up the back end thanks for watching and of course i look forward to seeing you again very, very soon indeed. Feast your eyes and digest. In the distance is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Thanks for watching. I look forward to your company tomorrow.